It's very easy to install TypeMill. Go to the URL typemill.net and download the latest version of the software. You can save the zip file to your computer and then unzip it on your desktop. Open the folder and locate the HT Access file. We're going to open this file and review some of the settings in it. Now, you can leave most of this as is. In this case, however, we want to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. In order to do this, simply delete the corresponding comment. We also want to remove the www redirect. To do this, we delete the next comment. Finally, we want to remove the slash at the end of the URL. Again, all we need to do is delete the relevant comment. When you're done, save the file and move on. Next, we're going to upload the files to the server. And while we wait for this to finish, we can go take a look at the TypeMill documentation. Under Getting Started, open the installation document. It explains here that we have to make the following folders writable. Cache, Settings, Content, and Media. If you look under Permissions, TypeMill also recommends using 755 for folder permissions and 644 for files. Once your files have finished uploading, go to the server and check the permissions. In this case, you can see that the permissions are already correct. If they weren't, simply edit them to match the installation settings. You can do this via FTP. You can see here that we installed TypeMill under the URL typemill.trendshow.net. It's a subdomain that works exactly like a regular domain. On the next page, TypeMill will ask you to create an admin account. Fill in your username, email address, and create a secure password. You can always change these settings later. Next, you'll see the startup screen. Click this button to go to the website configuration page. There, we can adjust our settings. For my website, I'm going to change the title and the author. I'm also going to set the language attribute for the front end website to German so that the admin area is in English and the front end website shows up in German. When you're done, save your changes and then you can visit the website and see what it looks like. As you can see, everything works great out of the box.